Okay, so the idea of a wicking bed is that um, it's a way that we can, it's a, it's a strategy we can, we can use to grow, to grow food, I guess, in any situation as long as we have full light, really. So you can do it on concrete, you can do it on a balcony, you can do it on existing ground, you can do it anywhere. Obviously it makes most sense where you haven't got an existing ground or garden. So essentially a wicking bed is a container and it could be a blue plastic, it could be a, you know just like half a barrel um, or it could be something that you construct yourself like we have here um, and it could be a system that you have to top up manually or it could be an automatic, it could be a system that is automatically plumbed in and automatically the water levels are kept where you want them which means it, it can go for weeks really without any input from anybody. So uh, this is the urban garden greenhouse and what we are trying to do in here is find out how much um, nutrient dense food we can produce and so we're only just starting to get the greenhouse up and running but it's very obvious right from the beginning that some plants like growing in this still and um, humid environment better than others. The celery has just totally gone off in here. It's the best celery I've seen for a long time um, and it's got it's really high bricks as well. It's bricks of 15 which is good quality food. Um, but essentially all these um, growing beds in here uh, consist of a container, um, either the blue plastic container or in this case where we've constructed it we've got a wooden structure, a wooden framework We've lined that with um, geotextural cloth so that the plastic on top of it doesn't get holes in it. And then we've put something inside the plastic, which sits on the geotextural cloth, to, um, that holds water, but also um, holds up the next layer of cloth. Um, I mean, these, these are the overflows here. So we have the, the geotextural cloth sits right on the ground. The plastic sits on that and then up to this level here which is about 20 centimeters we have it's filled with glass bottles and the glass bottles hold water but they also hold up the next layer of um, weed mat which holds the soil so we've got geotextural cloth plastic glass bottles filled with water then weed mat and then soil to the top and then into the soil we're planting and the idea is it's called a wicking bed because the plants of the roots are able to wick up from the water below how much water they need. So the big surprise for us is that really um, it feels like water is the limiting factor in um, growth a lot of the time even though we're watering our outside gardens every day um, the plants in here are growing far far faster. So partly that's going to be that they're accessing all the water they need, I think, and partly it's because there's no wind in here, so it's a lot calmer and that takes a lot of stress off the plant. So um, this is a situation where we're on concrete. We've got a small space, so the wicking beds are really appropriate. We couldn't grow food on here otherwise easily. The challenge is to um, use all the three-dimensional vertical space, and we've got a way to go in terms of creating some more vertical structures and the but the bigger challenge is um, learning how to to use this system use the strategy of wicking beds to grow nutrient dense food so we are currently um, testing all of the fertilizers that we make that we're producing here the rabbit manure the vermi cast the vermi liquid the compost um, the vermi the vermi cast um, some of the fertilizers that we're making ourselves so that we can see what is going to be a good way to add balanced minerals using our own ingredients to these wicking beds um, in the medium to long term. In the short term we're using environmental fertilizers, fertilizer and in a wicking bed even that is a challenge. So I mean we do have, I think the celery has a bricks of 15 at the moment, I think the tomatoes are about 10 and I'm not sure about the beans and peas, I can't remember. But yeah, so we're testing and we're trialing and we're trying to find ways to use wicking beds to grow nutrient dense food.